everyone. Today we have a math curriculum review that is going to be done by my daughter Sophia who is nine years old. Uh, she's going to talk to you about what she likes and doesn't like about each of these math curriculum. She's worked in each one of these books for a few months so let's see what she has to say. It's a really nice book. This is the cover. Um, it's a, the butterfly book. Inside it is all black and white, but it's very interesting. It's got stories and songs and such. And I think it's really good for kids because they will really be occupied with it, with all the stories and mysteries and stuff that they've got. Dolls, boats, toys, clocks. And it's really educational as you go along with the stories. Also little people, and it talks about the seasons too. So I think this would be good for first and second. Your kids will really enjoy that this is a really nice book. This is the other one, I think. This is the kids book, I think. Um, this is Life of Fred too, except for it is the Apple book. It is all black and white inside. It's got like boat stories and pictures, and pencils, math. It's really interesting and this is the cover and I think that the Life of Friend book, it is a really nice book and it's interesting and will keep your kids very occupied. I really like this book. I don't, these books, I don't remember why I um, put them but I'm probably going to do them the next year. They have really nice books. They're high quality, they're a little expensive, but they are absolutely perfect. Okay. Next we have um, Singapore. This is the Singapore workbook. You can tell it's the kid's workbook, workbook because it's yellow and it says workbook and such, and it's a lot bigger. And I'm going to show you inside. It is all black and white. It's a kid's workbook. And um, it's really nice quality. It's got like little kids playing games and such, having a play with made of numbers. That's yeah, a nice book. Here we have um, the, teach, the textbook for the parents. It's orange and it's thinner and it says textbook. So that's how you tell it is for the parents. It's all colorful inside. Stuff. When you start with these books, the, you go through this book first, and your parent will tell you, like, okay, this is that, this is that, what's this plus this, what's this kid doing? Please do not color in the parents' book. And, um, this is a kid's workbook. Yeah, it's all black and white, but it's got, like, math problems, and carrots, and colors, and mushrooms, and books, and worms, and ducks, and fish. And it's all about math. It's really good quality stuff, and it's absolutely nice, but I think Life of Fred is better quality. Just saying. Next we have Math Lessons for a Living Education 2. And um, it's level 2, and it's a nice book. It's just, I think, I, I really kind of forgot why I stopped doing it, but I think it's just like, kind of long. It's got like colors and people and stories, bar graphs, and stories. It's also got some nice cookbook recipes in here, and I'll tell you how to make them. But that's been like only some of the stories, just for like fun. Um, this is um, Matthew C. It's the alpha book, it's the second one. I really don't, I kind of hated Matthew C because I just don't like the alpha books. Like, I just don't like the blocks and stuff. Even though the lessons are pretty short, I kind of like that. I just like, don't like the blocks. It goes like this. It's all black and white. It's got little blocks you can build with it to see what is what, break is what. It's got pictures and stuff. And yeah, that's it. I don't, my opinion on this book is but my two little sisters, Evelyn and Jojo, they are going through this book, except for they're going through the first one, which is a red book. And um, I think they're going through it really easily and fast, like I did. But when they get to this book, I hope 
they do the same and not the same as opinion as me unless that's really true. Because I can't work with the box, but the girls can. This is Teaching Textbooks 3. Um, the book is all black and white inside. And it's got problems and answers and stuff. And you do this one on the pictures. computer, right? Yes, I do this one on the computer. I can also do it in here too. But it's mostly just a computer program. I could do it in here or look at the answers from here. Elizabeth, stop watching this video. And um, it's really nice. It's just when I was going through it on the map, it just started getting too hard for me. So I decided to stop. Um, although I think you'll, your kids will really like it. I'd say this, this is the third book. And I'd say this is for third and fourth kids. And um, that's all. For this book, okay, and um, my strong opinion on it is like just kind of gets too hard. But it does have little characters when you do it that will give you a hint or do something funny or good or nice or turn into a butterfly when you um when you start like um like you know you can just click on just gonna be a little person and you can click on it to change it. So that's that. And um, this is the book I'm just going to do now. It is um, Christian Light. And it's, I think it's the first one, I think. I'm not sure. And this cover. No, no. It's all black and white and green. It's got like bathrooms in the back, characters, and numbers and such. It's a really nice book. This is the book I'm doing now. I really like it. And this is the book I'm doing. But okay. you have to do at least like five or four pages, and it just, it gets too hard when you do so many pages. Your kid will probably just be like, I never want to do this book again, yeah! But we don't want that, so I just limit it to two pages. It is a very really nice book though. Okay, so which one is your favorite out of all these? I'd say Christian Light, and the book I would do here is Life of Frank. Okay. So, Thanks no. for watching. Say bye to the fish. Thank you. Bye.